<laughs> Good morning. Good morning. It is Monday, 17 February 2014. We are in the Oracle, Broad Beach, apartment 2602, Tower 2. Tower 2, and this is in Gold Coast, Australia. And can I say good morning? Good morning. We are here to talk about your book that's already completed. How many more books are you writing? Six more books. Will one be about cooking? Yes. Lot of food, lot of recipe. I'm getting hungry already. <laughs> okay, well, um, you've been sending query letters to agents where? London and New York. Okay, and what is the hook from your query letter? Can you read it? Um, how is it possible that a child can survive war and genocide, later escape sick traffickers, this at the hand of her mother and the mistress of her father, a war hero, fight of rape and sexual assault, a hellish life, only to be reborn miraculously still full of hope into a new life full of love life sex and richness but also into a world of injustice can she change this world that sounds fascinating just hold the book up again so we can see that's good and that's also there on your yeah that's the book cover on your computer yeah okay I see we have some nice view in the background looking west we'll get that view later yeah. now we're going to have a little look let me show you around my apartments on the west side the west side view to the mountain and hinterland That's good, you're doing well. Don't fall. You coming? <laughs> okay, here's a view now. And this is it's a sea. Sea east. There's a wave. Again. And there's a north north east. There's air. The yellow building is there and there's a the tower one over there. Tower one. And it's the east view, sea view. So we're looking at the heart of Broad Beach. Heart of Broad Beach, yeah. And convention center, the river, casino, Pacific Fair. Now we're going to go and walk down to the south. This apartment's got a very long balcony, so we're going to take a long walk down towards the south. It's 180 degree view, sea view and city view. Where are we and now? Kitchen. Now it's in my kitchen. There's a lot of food, a lot of uh, space here for uh, a lot of cooking. This is a beautiful big kitchen. This is the food prepared for a book later. And here's the I master chef. Or, there's the master chef. And uh, most recipes are my recipes. I can tell you the food is fantastic because I eat all of it. <laughs> We're now walking slowly passageway. south down the passageway, passageway in the bedroom. towards the bedroom. There's the doctor's bathroom. 
I have my own bathroom. And, and the bathroom. <laughs> and here comes the office. She has her own bathroom. And then my um. I have my own fridge, mm. and she has her own fridge. Yeah, and there's her his uh, my bathroom over there, my closet. There's a bathroom, my huge closet. bathroom, closet. closet. Uh, we'll go slowly. Slowly, and here's the bedroom for me. Here's the bedroom space this, bed from Italy. Wall mounted TV, the second TV. Here's this, the fish from when. Maldives. When we were in Maldives, they give us series, uh, fish series, marine life on Maldives 3, this one. We have three of them. And now we go out the balcony by the bedroom. Now it's the balcony there. And here's the view south. To Bali, and there's the Lorraine River, and again there's a passage fair front, and uh, here's the view, and this is the school, and this is the school from Bali. And there's a, there's a school, and there's a beautiful um, view east, the sea view. There. Okay, look at the camera. That's good. So there we have the author looking very good, holding the book. And this is Tower 2 of the Oracle. She wrote most of the book in Tower 1. There will be a separate video on that coming shortly. We're now going back towards the living area. Walk backwards, looking very good there. And what at the book way? Oh, two kilo. In fact, I have a pain in my muscle the last night oh. uh, from the cutting this. Uh, book for a video yesterday. That book weighs about two, two and a half kilo and is about Six. 650 pages when it's a book. Yeah, that's a book. Need two people to pick it up. Yeah. Uh, now she's walking one. back towards that beautiful blue lounge suite. Italian vase in the background. She's going to sit down. Well, she's standing up for a minute. Now she's going to sit down. And there she's looking very confident because soon she'll be an internationally recognized author. My, my life from now is going to be writing. I love writing. Writing is my passion. I always wanted to write since I was young. That's good. It's well, you got how many more books coming, you said? Five. Six, six books. Six books in total. And all memoir and real life story. And what about living in Australia? Has it, has it been all uh, happy for you? My living in Australia is not very good. I am not happy living here. I, am, I love the country, it's a beautiful country. But people are not very nice to us. They're not they're nice all, at all. They are not nice at all. They're racist and they're aggressive and they're all violent. And your book also talks about the uh, Khmer Rouge regime. Uh, yes, a lot of Khmer Rouge regimes and genocides. And particular genocide denial. And particularly uh, genocide denial. What is your one book called? My one book called God of Genocide. And who's the gods of genocide? America. The Americans will be shocked when they read your book, not so? Yes, they will. They will not be able to go anywhere. They'll be scared to go anywhere overseas. Yeah, no, because I'm going to reveal all. And debunk. Then debunk. All those enemies of people and the killing field, which all liar deniers. That's right. That's all going to be very, very interesting. This is all real life book and all truth, historically correct. And there are also going to be some, some hot sex scenes in your book. Oh yes, hot sex scenes. Even that Fifty Shades is nothing compared to this. is real love, real life, real story. Yeah, and Fifty Shades is just perverse oh. fictional sex. Yes. Yours it's, is all real. It's a woman abuse. And it's all real, your sex. Yeah, and woman abuse and my book also has woman power, human empowerment. rights. Empowerment. Woman empowerment. And your one book is called? A woman general. Woman general about women's rights. About women rights. Like, like Angelina Jolly. Yeah. And um... That's fantastic. So also you become more, an activist. 
and more activists, uh, but the women activists and human rights activists and and also girl you want to change. What about my girl, Cambodian girl? And you have Cambodian uh, girl, freedom fighters, freedom girl. Hindu girl, Hindu girl, Buddhist girl, Buddha girl, Christian girl, JC girl, and also all you've the got Muslim girl too. You're also attacking the regime in Cambodia. Oh yes, the regime in Cambodia is. Hun Sen must go. Hun Sen must go. Dictator. Hun Sen must go. Hun Sen must go. Hun Sen must go. Dictator must go. Dictator. Well, this is giving people want something new, something free. Absolutely. Well, this gives the uh, an idea about this author it, is very passionate about things. Well, there's another book that is also dedicated to that story is Cry My Beloved. Oh yes. Country. Cambodia. That's one of the six books. Cry My Beloved Country, Cambodia, a regime change. And they better watch out. You're coming. I'm coming. I will be the new Aung San Suu Kyi. New Aung San Suu Kyi. I have the love for my country. All right. I can see this is getting emotional. You can see she means what she says. Thank you. This has been a good interview. Thank and you. we will say, can you say goodbye? Um, yes. Um, and thank you for my editor and thank you for my video on youtube and a design website and blog over there thank you okay well i'm the editor the poor husband doing <laughs> doing his best but we're making progress thank you that was great thank you darling. bye